What's up everybody, my name's Steven. My name's Janica, and this is Too, Too Lazy, Lazy for Google. Google. And on today's episode, we're gonna talk to you about what's in your camera bag. Let's roll. Let's roll it. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're talking about what's in our camera bag in 2020. Awesome. This is a channel for all things droning, videography, tech, photography, lenses, tech reviews, and just general how-tos and how you can bump up your camera game. So if that's what you like, please hit like, smash, activate that like and subscribe button below so you can keep up to date with all of our videos and comment and give us your feedback because we'd love to hear from you. So in this bag, I have my Sony a7 III my uh, A6300, so two bodies. Then I have two prime lenses, one tight, one wide. I have a bunch of different accessories that helps clean it, extra SD cards, batteries. Uh, my dark horse is a quarter to be able to screw in uh, my stabilization. So whether it's a V3 crane or mm -hmm. a, a glide cam, I can have that quarter to tighten stuff up. It's a up. nifty trick. Yeah, yeah. and it's like doesn't take up much room. Uh, on top of that, I got my drone, my Mavic OG. Oh yeah, yeah I got right. my laptop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to check up on any pictures and videos. Uh, and I think that's it, actually. What about you? In my rocking kit, which is the exact same bag, Roots hard shell, clamshell, uh, hardcover protective case, uh, is just definitely an essential bag as I'm waiting for my Peter McKinnon bag in the mail which is coming from the Kickstarter campaign. So when that comes, there will be a vlog to end all vlogs on bag comparisons and bag usage and just bags in general. But that's how good this bag is. He's expecting a bag. Yeah. And this one was on sale on Black Friday sales for like 150 bucks. Uh, and it's fantastic. Yeah. So what essentially is in my bag? Uh, this is the Lumix bag. So this is like the happy side of the protagonist bags here. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm rocking out my, obviously my Lumix GH5. Uh, my backup camera, which is my G9 that I got recently. Nice. Love that camera. We'll vlog about it. We'll yeah. do a review, and that's coming up it takes sometime great soon. pictures, surprisingly. Yeah. It's actually really good it's as a great. video. It's like a mini yeah. GH5 on crack. Whew. It's really good. I, I can say crack, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's um, <laughs> it's a fantastic camera. But regardless, I have my two bodies. I have two lenses at my 16 millimeter Sigma. That's my go-to prime lens for almost everything. I have the same for the Sony. And now I'm rocking out in my second uh, lens in my kit, which is kind of like a dark horse, the Rokinon 85 millimeter T1.4 or T1.5. Now this is a nice uh, lens. Just bump that baby up. Like if you pop out, you know, obviously a normal lens like a Sigma or a yeah. Sony or um, or a Canon. But if you have that cine lens, that's just like, wow, this guy's, you know, he's here for business. Like if he wants to try a different kind of look on a film shoot, it's a nice touch. Um, I also have uh, obviously my blower. Uh, I've got my Joby uh, Gorilla Pod. That's definitely essential. So you can wrap your camera around different mm -hmm. directions or if you have a different unstable environment that you're shooting in, you can pop that baby down and you know that it's gonna be steady. Uh, I also have my RGB aperture light right behind me. This guy is amazing. This little light, uh, you can change the color hues, you can change the uh, luminance level, you can pop it on top of your camera if you have a cold shoe mount. Uh, great value, pop that in the description below. Definitely worth getting one of those. It's my next buy. It's yeah. awesome. And my rogue uh, option that's in my bag that he does not use because he uses his quarter, but I use a Phillips multi-head screwdriver. That's awesome. You can pop up a different heads onto it. Check it's, out the trust fund guy here. <laughs> it's robust. It's durable. It's been everywhere with me. And that is my go-to as my wild horse in my bag. So it's 2020. And what's in your camera bag? Are, are you rocking out drones? Are you rocking out your cameras? Are you rocking out microphones that we also forgot to mention because both of us happen oh. to carry the D80 D3 Pro. That's also a must. So new thing here on the channel before we sign off, uh, we're gonna give a shout out today to some of the comments and feedback and just 
basic response that we're getting now as our channel starts to grow. So today's episode, we're going to call out Ronan George, uh, who uh, commented on our recent video of the vintage lens. And uh, just a huge thank you to you, buddy, and also subbing back to you, as well as saying, go check out Ronan George's channel. This guy is based in Dubai. Mm -hmm. One thing why I love YouTube, I mean, it's the warm, fuzzy... The community. The community. Yeah. It's all about videography community. And when you have people watching your content in Dubai, like that's just so cool. So anyways, but check out his channel and this guy's got some incredible work that he's done uh, for his own commercial work in, in videography and, and corporate videography, lifestyle videography. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth checking out. And this is gonna be something that we're gonna do now on our videos is uh, the next video that pops out and comments from you guys, we're gonna give shout outs, answer your questions and uh, also promote your channels too. So shout out to ex Captain K as well. So what he said was uh, uh, that maybe we should think about changing our name with uh, Google not in it. Yeah, possibly. Um, yeah, that, I think that's a good idea. We never thought that we would get this far, but uh, thanks to uh, you guys and the love that you're giving us, uh, we just kept going and we love doing this. We love engaging with you guys. So keep those comments coming. Absolutely. And when we get to a thousand, this is our pledge to you. We will take a vote on what our name should be and then we will change our channel name to that. Too lazy for Bodie McBoatface. Now that is a channel <laughs> name. Look out YouTube, we are coming at you. But that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna change our channel name to whatever you guys highly vote on. We'll create a polling app thing you can log into and uh, you can give us your ideas on be fun. what we should call ourselves be fun. once we get to a thousand subs, if we get there. <laughs> okay, so this is an episode on what's in our camera bag in 2020. Done. Yeah, so like uh, if you have any comments or questions about what we carry, uh, if you guys carry around drones, if you carry around other equipment that oh, you the need. the Mavic Mini or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah onto your shoots, let us know because yeah. that might be something that we might uh, consider if it's really worth it. And until next time, always trust using quarters and tell us what is in your camera bags. That's right. Bye.